Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? X plus 6 factorial over X plus 2 factorial equals to 1680. Thank you for watching. Also, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, it is important to note that the value of X will be greater than or equal to minus 6 because here we cannot have anything less than the zero factorial also it is important to know that x here will be greater than or equals to minus 2 and uh, what once x is greater than or equals to minus 2 it's definitely greater than or equals to minus 6 so therefore this condition must be met very important then from here we have this x plus 6 factorial written as x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 5. So we'll be multiplying it till we have subtracting one from here like that. So we have x plus 4, then multiply by x plus 3, multiply by x plus 2. Let's stop here x plus 2 factorial because we can still be going and be going then divided by we have x plus 2 factorial so x plus 2 factorial here we cancel each other and don't forget this is equals to 1680 now from what we have here x plus 2 factorial we cancel each other here and then uh, what we have left here is just x plus 6 into bracket x plus 5 into bracket x plus 4 into bracket x plus 3 equals to 1680. And from here, let's bring x plus 6 and x plus 3 together. So we have x plus 6 and then x plus 3 separating them together and we separate x plus 5 times x plus 4 together. Then x plus 4, x plus 5 times x plus 4, then equals to 1680. Then in the next step, let's expand these two brackets. x times x here give us x squared. Then x times 3, that gives us plus 3x. Then 6 times x, that gives us plus 6x. Then 6 times 3, that gives us plus 18 there. Then, let's group this like this. Then, let's expand these two brackets as well. So, we have x times x, that's x squared. x times 4, that's plus 4x. Then, 5 times x, that's plus 5x. Then, 5 times 4, that's plus 20. Then it equals to 1680 there. So we have equals to 1680. Then from here, we can still simplify this and this becomes x squared plus 3x. Sorry, please. This is 3x plus 6x. That's 9x. Then plus 18. We had this together, we call 9x. Then from here also we have x squared plus also 9x plus 20 which is equal to 1680 1680 then in the next step we can see that these two brackets are nearly the same thing and the difference there is 18 and 20 so let's find the number in between 18 and 20 and that's 19. So now we can say let a letter t be equals to x squared plus 9x plus 19 such that this first bracket will be t minus 1 when we subtract 1 from here. So it gives us this first bracket. And this second bracket will then be t plus 1. When we had 1 to 19, that gives us 20. So we can now express this as t minus 1, the first bracket, times 
t plus 1 is second bracket, which is equal to 1080. Then from here, we have this in form of difference of 2 square. This is a factorization form. Then we can write this as simply t square minus 1 square. And 1 square is t1. 1 square is t1. So it's the same thing as t square minus 1, which is equal to 1680. And in the next step, we take minus 1 here, become plus. So that means t square equals to 1681. And when we take the square root on both sides, square root on this side, square cancel square root, then square root on this side, therefore we have t equals to plus or minus 41. And uh, you don't forget what we represented t as. We represented t as x squared plus 9x plus 19. So that means this is equal to plus or minus 41. So we have two possible cases here. First case, case 1, we have x squared plus 9x plus 19 equals to 41. And then in case 2, we have x squared plus 9x plus 19 equals to minus 41. And uh, from here, we can bring 41 to this side so as to form a quadratic equation. And this will become x squared plus 9x minus 22 equals to 0. Also, on this side, we can take this minus 41 here to form a quadratic equation. And this will become x squared plus 9x plus 60 equals to 0. And uh, we can check using the discriminant. The discriminant b square minus 4ac to check if here we are going to have a real solution and uh, from here b is 9 that's 9 square minus 4a a is 1 then c is minus 22 here when we look at it this will be 81 plus 88 of course this is greater than 0 that means we have a real solution here. Also, from this side, let's check whether we have a real solution here. Using the discriminant, B is 9. So we have 9 squared minus 4. A is 1. And then C is 60. From here, we have 81 minus... When we multiply this, we have 240. We discover that this will be less than 0. And there is no real solution on this side. Now, from this other side here now, we solve this quadratic equation that is x squared plus 9x minus 22 equals to 0. Then we can factorize from here. We can factorize and this becomes x squared plus 11x minus 2x minus 22 equals to 0. Because 11x minus 2x that gives us. 9x and when we multiply as well we get minus 22 then when we factor we group this one to 2 and we factor out what is common between these two is x so x into bracket here we have x plus 11 left then what is common here we have minus 2 then into bracket x plus 11 which is equal to 0 so we have x plus 11 x plus 11 common then we have x plus 11 out. Then what is left there is x. What is left there is minus 2, which is equal to 0. Then, two cases here we have x plus 11 equals to 0. Or we have x minus 2 equals to 0. So from here, we have x equals to minus 11. And x here is equals to 2. And uh, we note from the beginning that the value of x will be greater than or equals to minus 2. So that here yeah, x equals to 11 does not satisfy this uh, condition. And then the solution we have here now is x equals to 2. So therefore, 
on the problem that we are given we can say that the solution is x equals to 2 we have come to the end of this problem thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give it a thumbs up see you in the next class and bye for now